So here's a quick video of how you can grade your assignments or exams one problem at a time to improve your consistency in grading. Uh, so this is your typical uh, landing page for your Blackboard course. Uh, go down to Grade Center and Needs Grading to access uh, the assignments that need grading. What you want to do here is to filter by assignment. So in this case I want to grade the exam and I'll hit Go. And another thing you can do is to sort by user so that everything is nice and alphabetical, uh, if that helps you at all. So just clicking on that bar will allow you to sort by the user last name. What you can do next is essentially wherever you are in the process, you can click a name and it will bring up their exam. And if you've asked them to submit as a PDF, it'll, it'll show up right here. You can go into your annotations and click a pen or any other type of comments you want to add. And you can grade as you normally would in Blackboard. And then once you've graded the problem that you're working on, you'll go up to the attempt to where you would normally enter a grade. But instead of entering a grade, you go to Feedback to Learner. And you could just type a score for that problem number. And instead of hitting Submit, what you want to do is to save the draft. As soon as you click Save Draft, it'll put you to the next uh, available assignment to grade. And you can continue this process all the way through for that particular problem. Uh, and you'll never actually submit the grade this way, but you can save the problem score for each problem uh, throughout this entire process. Once you finish grading the problem of choice for all of the available submissions, uh, Blackboard will take you automatically back to the main page that shows all of the available assignments. At this point, you can start back at the top, and you can jump back into grading the next problem. And notice that all of your previous marks for that problem that you had previously graded are still available, as well as the feedback to the learner that you recorded. So to grade the next problem, it's as simple as scrolling down to the next problem and making your annotations on the exam. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and click back into the Feedback to Learner to make a note for yourself and for the student as to what the grade for the second problem would be. Make sure to hit Save Draft instead of Submit, and this will continue to take you through the rest of the available exams to grade. Once you finish this process for all the problems, you can simply add up the score and input into the Grade Attempt field and submit the grade. 